Hey, I'm Scott and I'm an American in Bangkok. Today I've got a letter from Raphael. He writes in, hello again, Scott. So come September, I'm planning three weeks in Thailand. I was looking to spend some time in Kuala Lumpur and Singapore as well. Would September be a good time to go? And I'm looking to spend most of my time in Thailand. I'd say mainly Pattaya, Phuket, and Bangkok. How many days should I spend in Singapore and Kuala Lumpur? And what is the cheapest and fastest way to get to those countries from Thailand? Do I need a visa for Malaysia and Singapore or just a U.S. passport? Well, Raphael, <laughs> first of all, you need to slow down. Second of all, I think some of this information you could easily find online. And, you know, while I'm all for helping you, like I said, some of this information you can find out yourself online, okay? Uh, now, three weeks in Thailand, uh, that's a, a fair amount. Um, it really depends on what you want to come here for. I mean, if you're going to run around and go into bars, for me, I mean, uh, a week in Pattaya is more than enough. A week in Phuket is more than enough. A couple of days in Bangkok, you know, fine. But you've got three weeks and you want to go to Kuala Lumpur and you want to go to Singapore. Now, here's what I would do. Let's just go to Singapore first. Uh, as a U.S. citizen, uh, you don't need a visa. You just fly in there, all right? The same with uh, Malaysia. You go to Singapore for, say, three days and two nights. It's enough, believe me. You know, there's a casino there. There's uh, a zoo and there's some, uh, uh, some outdoor things that you can do. Uh, really, the main thing to go to Singapore for is shopping. So I would say go there for three or four days, that's two or three nights, and then split. Maybe on your way back or on the way there, you go to Kuala Lumpur and you go for three or four days. So you spend a week in Singapore and Kuala Lumpur. That gives you two more weeks back in Thailand. Uh, frankly, you know, I'm, I've been to Malaysia a couple times, but I don't really know it all that well. Uh, not, not nearly well enough to inform people where to go, what to do. Singapore is a little bit different, but uh, like I said, I, I personally can only handle Singapore for a couple of days, and I've been there for weeks and months at a time working and I didn't particularly like it. And I was staying in a very, very nice hotel. I had everything I needed. I was completely taken care of, but I couldn't say that I really enjoyed it as much as I enjoy Thailand. Now, you wanna go to Pattaya, Phuket, uh, and Bangkok for uh, these three places. You got two weeks left. To me, that's more than enough. I would go to Pattaya for maybe three days, three or four days, two or three nights. I'd go to Phuket for, say, uh, five days, all right? So that gives you about six days in Bangkok. Maybe what you do is you spend four days in Bangkok, then you go hit Pattaya, you come back, you fly down to Phuket, you come back to Bangkok and you spend two or three days in Bangkok. There's enough stuff to do in Bangkok or nearby Bangkok that you can stay busy for months if, if you want to. So you really need to plan out your trip uh, and plan out what you want to do. I mean, if you want to get the maximum value for your time, if you don't know the country. Personally, I like just kind of winging it and going and checking stuff out and having a, a, a real broad uh, out, outline of things that maybe I want to do. Like in Phuket, you know, you want to go to the beach. Maybe you want to go uh, to some of the surrounding uh, areas of Phuket. Uh, maybe you want to go over to an island uh, in Pattaya. Maybe you want to go a little f further up the coast and you want to go to Ko Chang or something like that. There's all kinds of things you can do. So two weeks is not all that much, but if you want to, if you, if you want to just say, okay, I'm only going to go to Singapore, well, that gives you an extra couple of days instead of going to Kuala Lumpur. Uh, but it's really up to you in the end. So hopefully that helps you a little bit. For now, that's all. I'm Scott. I'm an American in Bangkok.
Until next time, choke the let jerk and mind.